so it looks like a mirror match to me. Might get more points if I win. I think everybody in the world has more uh, experience with Consume Monster than I do. Uh, this actually looks really nice. Uh, but we could always do better. Might not need the Ekimar. Okay. So we're probably gonna have a bunch of mirror matching here. And then we just do this. We pass. Yeah, sure, we start in the next match with a bunch of We both have the same kind of board. He has card advantage, which is good for him. We're gonna begin our tribute. It's time. Okay, he's getting a lot of card advantage. That's okay for us. He might ice us, who knows. Not sure exactly what we're playing against. Okay. Anything in particular interesting? We don't mind him getting points on his side of the board. He has a Geralt Igni. That would actually be the one situation where this is bad. I could have played a Catacan. Okay. Okay, and uh, I think we'll pass. Actually, we can make this even harder for him. Always willing, pal. Reckon right. I, I, I know exactly what he's going to play to end this round. So we can play around that. Uh, I can't afford to use a clear weather. So I'm going to just rain down on his Cedra. Oh, 
I probably misplayed this. Because he uses that now, he loses it later, which is great. Uh, now, of course, that does mean that he can, yeah, he has to play that now to get ahead. I actually do not know how many points this will count for, because it gets four every time he does that. <laughs> We're playing pretty much the same deck, except he's has ghouls. He still has to play all oh, man. He has to play all his cards. <laughs> oh, he loses! <laughs> he can't win. There's no way for him to win. I win. <laughs> Good. Oh, this is ideal. And you guys thought I was probably crazy for continuing to play and playing exactly like that. He he consumed the wrong. Oh. Oh, this is one way he could win the round without losing. But it does weaken him later. Oh. It, it prevents him from drawing as many cards as he could have. I'm still going to get my uh, buffs from my... I wonder exactly how this is going to work out. I'm going to get all of mine back. And he's going to get all of his back. I don't know exactly how this is going to work out. And I get a Regis. So he has to get 11 points from his last card. I don't know exactly how this is going to work out. 11 plus whatever I have in my hand. Okay. So he doesn't get he doesn't have enough points to win. I could pass right here. I'm not. Because I don't know what's going to happen. And we're done. I win! <laughs> uh, that that was mostly because he made a mistake with how he, um, you know. Pushing it out sometimes wins. It was worth it. I needed to bait out his commander swarm because I didn't know if I could beat that otherwise. Okay. Uh, let's... Now I'm going to finish off by talking, closing this video by talking more about Consume Monster. Now this is my final part of the video. I'm going to talk about why uh, Consume is played and what is the turn order you play it. First thing, why is Consume being played? Because the Necker's their Death Wish ability, which is the which is this little skull right here means that they're really hard to just they're just resistant to control and anything that can both push out a lot of power and is resistant to control is going to be bonkers broken Morkvark is the same way it's like you can put a lot of power on the card and nothing that your opponent does to it can prevent it from being in play they can't punish Morkvark because you know you can't steal it from the graveyard it's never in the graveyard for long enough for you to steal it uh, monsters kind of similar in that you can't really do anything to monster you can't steal any of its cards to really break it move on to the next subject which is ordering the first play is either you're going to play the necker or you're going to play the chrome my opponent preferred playing the Crone first. I prefer playing the Neckers first because the setup for this is long and this has a lot more strength than a Necker does. So, and I often like playing Crones on round two as a way to push more card advantage in that round. You tend to go for, you tend to want to win round one with Consume. All the uh, popular decks want to win round one. And if you're Dagon, having card advantage uh, that you can exploit from round two is great. 
So you push on the Necker if you go the Necker route, then you play Necker Warrior. If the opponent locks your Necker, you can't go straight to the Necker Warrior. You have to go to the Monster Nest. You cannot afford for your opponent to uh, both lock your Necker and then remove it from play. It will completely disrupt your combo. You follow that up after you've done all the Necker Warriors you can with either, if you haven't played the Crones, the Crones, or with the Ekimara. The Ekimara will carry points onto the next round and buff all your Neckers, of course, but you want to end the round with the Ekimara. And then you just eat um, the other Ekimara with the Ekimara and then end with the Katatakan. If you have a Regis, Regis is always nice to play because it's just more points to carry on to the next round, and the more points you carry on to the next round, the better. Alright, and that's pretty much all that I need to say about Consume Monster, or Consume, it's redundant to say Consume Monster. Uh, don't expect this strategy to go on forever. I expect the next patch to kind of ruin the meta that we have right now. Uh, Skellige and Monster are going to consume are going to get the uh, nerf stick probably. I think with Skellige they're probably going to turn either uh, Murkbark into something more like Olgirt or just reduce his base strength to something more manageable. With Consume Monster I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do to nerf this without dramatically changing the way the cards work. They might up the uh, card uh, deck size, but that would only help Monster because Monster's the best, has some of the best bronze cards in the game. And some of the best mustering effects. The more, the bigger your deck size, the better mustering effects become and monster can abuse that like crazy consume monster doesn't have a in short consume monster doesn't have an easy fix without fundamentally changing how neckers work they could probably just take away their death wish ability and just turn them into every time you consume something gain two strength that, while this would fundamentally change Necker, it would put it in line with almost every other faction. It would also be very boring. <laughs> but you could still play the Necker and then spawn uh, Monster Nest and then abuse Consume Effects to get a huge board. It's just that you wouldn't be able to carry over a bajillion points to the next round. Necker Warrior would stop making sense. But you can you, you can still use Necker Warrior for mustering effects. I just think they would just have to change how Necker, uh, what synergies Necker Warrior had. It, you could turn Necker Warrior into a um, kind of a dwarf thing, like buff a card by so and so amount of points. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I see Monster going if they want to bring it in line with every other like mechanic in the game we currently have. Well, there is the option of buffing everything up to the uh, consume level of power. <laughs> that actually I would prefer, but it would also make uh, control much more complicated. <laughs> as there, if every mechanic becomes as strong as consume is now, then you, you really need to be able to counter whatever that mechanic is doing, the best of your ability. Hang on. That's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.